Resistors are used to limit the flow of current in both AC and DC. However, in AC, inductors and capacitors can also be used to limit the flow of current. This property is called inductive reactance in the case of inductors and capacitive reactance in the case of capacitors. If we have an inductor of inductance L, its reactance will be given by 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance. For example, for a 0.1 Hz inductor and a frequency of 60 Hz, the reactance will be 37.7 ohms. In a similar way, for a capacitor of capacitance C, the reactance is given by 1 divided by 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. For example, for a capacitor of 1 microfarads, the capacitive reactance is 2651 ohms. We have also used a frequency of 60 Hz. In order to demonstrate inductive reactance, I am using 12 volts AC from this transformer, this little lamp, as as inductor this coil of magnet wire. If we connect the lamp directly to the transformer, we have a certain brightness in the lamp. But if we put the inductor in the circuit, the brightness is less. And if we put an iron core in the inductor, the inductance will be higher and the brightness is even less. Let me connect directly to the transformer. You see? Capacitive reactance works in a similar way. Now I have a capacitor instead of an inductor. Let me connect the lamp directly to the transformer. And now with the capacitor in the circuit. You can see how the brightness is less. Now let me put a capacitor of less capacitance. We will have lower brightness in the lamp. There you are. I am using here electrolytic capacitors, but in a real AC circuit you should never use them. Always use polarized, non-polarized capacitors because Electrolytics will be damaged by the alternating current or they can even explode.